day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a raw specs or hardware usage comparison between Ubuntu 20.04, the long-term service release, uh, really with the uh, support for about five years, and then the latest release of Ubuntu 21.04, which is really about a, a year of uh, support there. So one thing I would say about the long-term service release is although a little bit older, usually an older kernel sometimes, it's uh, usually a lot more stable of a service. It might be uh, actually used for, for web servers and things like that. But uh, let's load up into some of the specs here, and as we can see, 20.04 LTS, long-term service or long-term support, and Ubuntu 21.04. So first of all, we'll go to the, uh, the left-hand side here and see the, the CPU. So, ooh, well, depends, but it's mostly idling out there. But uh, when it actually comes to the, the memory usage, they are almost identical. In fact, same amount of threads almost and uh, same amount of RAM. So about 640 megabytes of RAM. So not a great difference on that front. Uh, this is what they seem to be doing here these days as well. Even for the long-term service release, it's almost the latest and greatest version, or at least they're almost identical at least uh, there anyway, if I can stop saying at least. But um, yeah, just want to give you guys a bit of a feel for these two. I actually run the Ubuntu 21.04 in the back end here as my main daily driver. It gives me no issues, so I continue to use it. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Just a super simple, quick, fun video to show you guys uh, a bit of a, a comparison between the two on the left, long-term service, and the current on the right. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one.